Are you looking for a great express cruiser that's well built, solid, and meant to run? Then come with me as we do a quick walkthrough tour on this 2001 Cruisers Yachts 3470 Express Cruiser. Now she's loaded with features from bow to stern, has a full camper enclosure, very clean, neat, and well cared for. Powered with Merc Cruiser 8.1 engines, she's got low hours and lots of features. So come join me as we do a quick tour. Here we are starting off on the bow on the starboard side of this 3470 cruisers here at South Mountain Yachts. We notice we've got a lot of features. Nice plow anchor, remote spotlight, and a covered windlass. Now coming down along the foredeck here, that large area just begs for a cushion to be made so the ladies can lay out on it. That's definitely an LLI feature. Coming down the side, we see we have the Taylor curved tinted windshield and something those of us at a certain age remember we have wing windows which we used to have on car our cars that allows air into the cockpit for us we have a nice stainless steel trumpet horn and there's our badge 3470 express coming down along the side we see we we have our radar arch with our antennas up top and a hard Macrolon camperback enclosure so we can use the vessel year round. Now here at the transom we have an inflatable dinghy which is included with the purchase, an extended swim platform, there's a boarding ladder under the dinghy and trunk storage also. Coming down along the port side, we see we've got our Furuno radar, GPS antenna, our radar arch, and our camper back canvas. Here we are at the transom. We're going to board from here. Now here at the transom, we've got a lot of features. We have our city water take on, dual fuel fills both for the port and starboard tanks, grab rails to hold on to, dedicated fender storage. We enter the vessel through this swing away door and we have our hot and cold shower. Once inside the vessel, to port we see we have a nice wet bar here Lots of counter space and a refrigerator down below. To starboard, we have our U-shaped seating. The table actually can be lowered and a sun pad created there to lounge out. There's lots of storage under all those seats so we can bring lots of people with lots of stuff. Moving forward, up a couple steps, we have our LLI port side lounger on the vessel, and again, with storage underneath. To starboard, we have our companion helm seating. Our battery switches are underneath. The driver's side has a thigh rise bolster. Access to the Ford deck is up these steps through the window and out. Here at the helm, we've got our Furuno Navnet radar GPS system. We have our autopilot. Very helpful. We have a fuel flow scan. This way we can watch our fuel consumption for optimal use. Rocker switches down below, which are all nice and clean, nice and solid. They've been changed. We've got our classic wood steering wheel here and at the helm we have our dual gauges for port and starboard engine and our engine sink gauge right here 
depth sounder. Hour meters are right in there. Very low hours, less than 500 hours on the video. Separate shift and throttle. Our VHF radio is right there. This is going to give us an overview of the cockpit. From here, let's go inside. We enter the cabin through this sliding door, down a few steps. Notice we have a nice grab rail right there. Immediately to port, we have our galley. We've got lower storage, both tall storage and deep drawer storage. Fiberglass countertop, fiberglass backsplash dual burner glass top stove stainless steel sink with a cover and then a nice little corian style countertop notice the custom hardware here up above we have our microwave and we have our cabinet storage right there with shelves moving forward one of, this is one of the best features on this boat is the head it's the largest head on any 34 foot boat you'll probably have to get into a 38 or 40 foot boat to find some of these amenities such as the separate shower with curtain and a seat keeps the whole area clean neat and dry we have a mirrored medicine cabinet up above fiberglass vanity with storage and our vacuum flush system right there uses minimal water keeps the boat nice and fresh cruisers does an excellent job we've got some ultra leather wall coverings and headliner as we move forward we have our privacy curtain into the master area Hanging locker, oversized bed that from side to side is about seven feet. We've got a mirrored anchor locker, overhead hatch, gunnel storage. Circling around, we see we've got a TV. And then for those of us that enjoy it and need it, we have steps to get into the bed. There's also storage up underneath. And again, coming down the starboard side, we have another TV. Our sofa here converts into a sleeper. Got a nice hardwood table. Gunnel storage above. Probably have six and a half feet of headroom here. As we come down along the side, we see we have our electrical panel, our AC power on both sides, and our DC power below. There is a tank watch system, so we know the condition of our holding tank, and there's a water gauge right there. And again, pointing out some nice cruiser wood finishes here on this vessel there's our air conditioning thermostat it's reverse cycle air and heat now this section back here we have a privacy curtain and then this area here is dropped down we have a little step down there so we can use this as a changing area also We've got a mid berth back here which is a permanent sofa, double wide, and again, six and a half feet long. Lots of storage up under those curtains. This vessel is neat, clean, very well cared for, shows pride of ownership. Very well powered with Merc Cruiser 8.1 engines. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.